ask me how I know, and I'll tell you so, you used to be my girl. Alright, what's up? It's Ange, let's help with Ange, and I am going to show you guys how to make walnut meat on this ugly, rainy afternoon. While I listen to the OJs. Used to be my girl. Alright, so if you purchased my book already, How to Eat Plant Based Like a Boss, I appreciate you. This is one of the recipes in the book. Only I'm gonna kinda level it up a little bit and do some extra stuff with it. What's up, cousin? How you doing, Shanice? Hey, as a matter of fact, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna get everything together. Uh, if you wanna follow along? You're gonna need a food processor. You're gonna need some seasonings. You're gonna, of course, need some walnuts and mushrooms. And I tell you so, used to be my girl. I still hey, Miss Stephanie, how you doing? You need to get that book. Nah. Okay, we're gonna mess around. I'm gonna mess around. <laughs> As a matter of fact, hey. Okay, so walnut meat. Sounds crazy, right? But most people are texture people, right? So you're trying to eat more plant based, all the way plant based, 50% plant based, whatever the case may be, you're gonna wanna mix up your textures, right? You're not gonna always wanna have lettuce and a salad, right? And you don't have to, that's the beauty of it, okay? So, we'll start with love and a OJ's be having me jamming, sorry y'all. Uh, okay, all right, you gonna send it? Cool. All right, so let's start with ingredients. We got walnuts, okay? These are raw. All right, so that's why they're soaking. So I've had these soaking for like three hours now, three, four hours. Okay, the reason I soak them is just makes them a little bit softer, makes them a little bit easier to work with in the food processor. Okay, and here is the magic. This is the level up, right? So again, how much of everything is in my book? So you can peep that, all right? So basically, let's see. What I have in here is mushrooms. Uh, diced onions, yellow bell peppers, okay, and then what I marinated my mushrooms in is liquid aminos. Now, this is a great alternative to soy sauce. It's also a great alternative to just using salt, period, right? Okay, um, so it's, it's uh, gluten-free for all my gluten-freeers out there, and it's all-purpose, so the flavor is on point, and you're not overly, overly seasoning anything, right? So I have my mushrooms, marinating in the liquid aminos, uh, pepper, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper, because I like spice. If you're not a cayenne pepper fan, leave it out. If you don't like garlic, leave it out. That's the beauty of it. You can pretty much season it up any way you want to, right? So this, the mushrooms I've had marinating the same amount of time as my walnuts, a few hours, okay? All right, and that's just so they kind of suck up that um, the, the flavor a lot more is gonna be a lot more flavorful that way. How you doing, Auntie Patty? What's up, Rachel? Hey, Siobhan. Uh, if you guys missed the intro, I'm getting ready to show how to make walnut meat. Okay, only this one's gonna kind of have like a little twist in it because I'm adding mushrooms to it. Now, the reason I'm adding the mushrooms is it bodies it up a little bit. All right, so um, I'm gonna get a little bit more with that. Hold on, I was changing my song. Listen to the OJs. How you doing, Arnett? All right, there we go. So the reason I add the mushrooms to it adds more. I'm gonna get you more, right? Okay, so it's pretty simple now that I already got my onions, my bell peppers, my mushrooms, marinated, seasoned, ready to roll. I got my walnuts, nice and soaked. And I'm just gonna toss them into my food processor, okay? How I know. All right, so if you don't have a food processor, you could use a blender. 
Uh, it has to be a, um, a high power blender, like a Vitamix or Blendtec. Other than that, I wouldn't really mess with it. I've never tried to make it in a blender before because I have a food processor. This brings me to another point that I wanted to make for some messages I've been getting. Don't be afraid to try new appliances, right? Because true story, right? Before I went vegan, I never used a food processor before, right? But then when you start messing around with different types of recipes, it requires different types of tools and essentials. Google it if you need to. All right, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed to ask somebody to show you how to use it. All right, so uh, what's up, Mike? How you doing, Deidre? Hey, Kayla. What's up, driver? Um, I'm making walnut meat. It is a recipe in my book. Um, I'm taking it up a notch show tonight, and I'm putting mushrooms with it. All right, so these have been marinating, like I said, in liquid aminos, which is a great alternative to soy sauce. There's uh, garlic, there's cayenne, there's black pepper, there's yellow bell peppers, there's onions. And all I'm going to do is just toss this right in the food processor. Boom. Nothing magical there. Alright, so what's up, Stephanie? Happy belated birthday. So, uh, this is the walnuts. They've been soaking, so they're a little bit easier to deal with. These are raw walnuts. You don't have to buy them raw, though. Alright? So, I'm going to go ahead and drain them, and then I'm going to put them in a the food processor also. So I got my walnuts going in. Uh oh, drop some. All right, and then let's move this over here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Who good love and a girl's got plenty good love. And give me a thumbs up if y'all like the OJs. Can y'all hear that? Come on, it's raining outside. She used to be my girl. Okay, all right, so walnuts, mushrooms, uh, peppers, onions, boom. All right, so everything's in here. I'm just gonna pulse, it's gonna get kind of loud. If y'all have any questions, shoot them. So I'm pulsing because I don't want it to be liquid walnut. I'm not making like a pate or like a spread. I want it to be meaty. Almost like honestly what it was comparable to is like a ground beef or ground turkey and you can use it just like that. Right? You can put it with your noodles and you can make spaghetti. You can saute it and make tacos. You can use it as a crumble on top of your salads. Um, you can throw it in a wrap. Um, basically any way that you would use a ground meat that's what you can use your walnut meat for. All right. All right, see what we got going here. So I'm just trying to make sure it's even. That's what I'm looking at. The liquid aminos, um, where did I get this from? I wanna say Publix. I wanna say Publix. So, is lower sodium than a soy sauce, is lower sodium than, of course, is using salt, all right? Uh, which I'm not an anti-salt person. You just want to make sure that you're using a pink Himalayan salt, and you don't want to cook with the salt. You want to use it as a finish. So, like, after you get done making something, if you want to, you know, grind a little pink Himalayan salt on top of it, that's cool, too. But this is good as a marinade, right? This is great as a marinade. It's going to give you a lot of flavor, what you're looking for, all right? So, right now, I'm just kind of checking out the consistency. Okay, so what it's looking like, there's still some whole mushrooms in here, so I'm going to pulse it a little bit more. Alright, again, we got the questions, ask them. About to change up my music real quick, and then I'm going to pull it out so y'all can see it. For some reason, I feel like listening to Prince. Any Prince fans? Alright, well, if you're not, just cover your ears and just listen to my, my uh, voice. <laughs> Alright, here we go. There it is. Boom. Print. All right. Back to the walnut meat. Hey. <laughs> Done. All right. 
so another good part about marinating the mushrooms first is I don't have to re-season this, right? It's already packed full of that. That's all that's in it for flavor. So all I'm gonna do now, go ahead and take it out. Okay, if you're just tuning in, what's up Keith? Hi Ms. Chandra, how you doing? Okay, I'm making walnut meat, which is like a ground crumble, okay? So anything that you can use ground meat for, you can use walnut meat for. You can saute this, um, saute it with uh, onions and peppers, you can do tacos, you can do spaghetti, you can put it with rice, cauliflower rice, um, wraps, salad topping, um, cracker, eat it with crackers. Alright, boom, done. Alright, so... Hey, it's good, no lie. I wish I had somebody else here to try it, just in case y'all like, yeah, right. It's good, I'm telling you, right? So, um, you could do like, a, you know how people would do like a chicken and rice? You could do the ground walnut with rice, like, like this kind, I'll show you. So you can take like your rice cauliflower. I mean, you can use regular rice too, but if you're trying to get leaner, all right, this is a great alternative, all right? So you got your cauliflower rice, walnut meat, boom, winning, just like that. All right, so super simple. I don't want to hold y'all up. Anybody have any questions? Oh, uh, the brand of food processor. This is a Black & Decker. It's a Black & Decker I got it from Walmart. Like 30 bucks, 30, 40 bucks. This is a eight cup, so it's not like super large, but it's enough to get done what you want to get done, right? Um, if you got like a really large family or you're trying to do like large meal prep, maybe you can go larger. They also have smaller ones that are like four cup. Um, they have the little manual one that you could chop on top. That's like a single cup. That could be handy for some of you guys too. If you feel like this is too much, but this is just one bowl. And like I said, I mean, if you're sloppy Joe, I forgot that. I wanted to mention that too. Um, you got kiddos. I mean, maybe even as an adult, maybe you like some sloppy Joe. You don't have to give up the foods that you like, right? We're just swapping some stuff out. So instead of ground beef, you use a walnut meat. Flavor it the same, do everything the same, you're good to go. <laughs> Auntie Shanice said, get one. Get one. All right, y'all, so that's it. So all I'm gonna do is I have this prep and ready for whatever I need it for. Like I'm gonna use it probably for wraps, um, a taco on my salads is my plan for the week and I'll probably end up one night or one lunch having it with some cauliflower rice. And that's probably gonna pretty much be it. It's not like a whole bunch. Um, the amount of walnut meat that I threw in here, this is a five ounce one, okay? Again, if you want exact, like how much of this, how much of this, then what, then what, buy the book. Can you freeze it? Yes, Miss Stephanie. You can make it in bulk and freeze it.